Hi, thanks for stopping by to watch me, Leia, cook kosher. Today we're going to take our prepped chicken, which you can of course see how to do on a previous video, and we're going to turn this into the most awesome fried chicken ever. Just in time for Hanukkah. Our chicken needs to sit for at least an hour, even overnight if possible, in a brine. Now, a lot of people will have you soak in a brine that's made of salt, sugar, and water. I find that kosher chickens, because of the way they're processed, are already salty enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some sugar, and then cover with cold water. And we want to be sure that all the pieces of chicken are covered. Okay, and I like to flip my chicken over. Even when I'm marinating, I like to have it upside down so that it's really in the brine or marinade. Okay, so I'm going to cover that with plastic, set it aside, and then we're going to make the batter. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I have a bowl with some water in it here, and of course you know the drill by now. You're going to go to leahcookskosher.com uh, for the full recipe with all the actual quantities of the ingredients. Okay, so water, and then I have cornstarch, which always reminds me of like, whoops, Asian food. Scrape all that out. Okay, and then we're going to add some flour. and a ton of black pepper, a little bit of salt, baking powder. That's gonna make that crust really puff up. Just a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper, give it a little bit of a kick, and some paprika, add some nice color. And we're gonna go ahead and stir this up. I might actually use my whisk to get that um, cornstarch and flour more incorporated. Be sure you scrape the bottom of the bowl, like that cornstarch just sunk right to the bottom. We want to get it all mixed in. All right, that's just about mixed. We'll give it a little more stirring just before we Put the chicken in. Okay, we're going to set this aside while we get our uh, deep fryer all set up. Okay, be back in a minute. While my deep fryer is heating up, I'm just going to pat my chicken dry. I've drained the brine off and just want to get excess uh, liquid off. Okay, our chicken looks beautiful. So I have everything in place, chicken, batter, fryer, and then the platter to put the cooked chicken on. You wanna have everything in place when you're starting to work with hot oil, okay? Get yourself organized, meet you back here. It looks like the uh, fryer is ready. So I'm gonna take the lid off of that and raise my basket. If you're doing this on the stove top, you know, you want your oil to be heated in as heavy of a pot as you have um, to 350 degrees. And I know it's harder to keep the temperature up, but you're gonna wanna pay attention and try to keep it as close to 325 when you're cooking. Um, so your chicken will stay light and not get all heavy and soggy. Okay, so I'm gonna test this and see how it works. So what I like to do is just start with a couple of small pieces and I'm going to actually just dip that right in the batter and lay it in my basket. Of course, this isn't a huge fryer, so we'll just do a few at a time. And lower the basket in.
this is great. It has a cover and it also has steam vents. So that's going to hopefully prevent anyone from getting burned. I'm going to set the timer for about 10 minutes. So obviously in the ideal world you're going to be multitasking, not just standing here watching the chicken cook. But um, frying chicken is dangerous. Keep the kids away. Um, keep your cords or your oil, your lids, your handles all inward, okay? We don't want to have any accidents with oil getting tipped over onto anybody, God forbid. Okay? So, while you don't have to stand there and watch chicken cook, you do want to be careful and keep an eye that nobody is, you know, going to get hurt. All right. We'll check back and see how this is working out for us in about 10 minutes. Okay. Those are looking fabulous, so we're just going to go ahead and do the legs next. This isn't the huge fryer, so I don't want to overload it. See if we can get all four of these guys in there. And we're going to put our lid back on. We do have steam vents, so it's not going to steam that chicken. And go ahead, set it for about 12 minutes. We'll check back on those. Now it's very important that you use an oil that's designed for frying. Otherwise you'll get a very smoky burned chicken before you actually even have a chance to cook it. This little fryer here is working out perfectly. I'm just going to take some of all of uh, these crumbs and shake them off into the garbage so they don't keep burning into the oil. Okay, so I went ahead and just put all my chicken into my my batter. I get impatient that way. And these are bigger. I might only just go with a couple of pieces. So what I'm doing now is I'm draining my chicken on a sheet pan. Uh, I put everything into my batter. So now this was clean, paper towels there, drain, and then we'll transfer it to the, to the platter. Actually, this one still has the paper towels, and it's just amazing at how little oil there is coming out of this chicken. I guess that's because it's actually been cooking at the right temperature. And of course, I like to use my InstaRead thermometer because I always cook chicken to 165 degrees. That way there, it's cooked, yet if there's any um, holding time, see, I, now I know it's 148, I have about three more minutes. So of course, as we are making this chicken, it's taking some time. When you want to heat this up, we're going to platter it, put it right into the oven, and just keep it on a, you know, 160 degrees until you're ready to serve. And you can also, heat it up for leftovers the next day. It works just fine. Put it into a hot oven at 400 degrees. Make sure it has some air holes on the side so that it will vent. You don't want to close it up with foil, otherwise the crust will get all soggy. Any steam will make that crust get soggy. I'm going to take my InstaRead thermometer and double check the temperature. You can tell when it's starting to get done because the um, the bubbles aren't so ah, fast and furious. Let's see. Nice crunch on there. Take it right out with my thermometer. And here it is. A fabulous platter of fried chicken. Just in time for Hanukkah. That's a miracle. <laughs>